Hey there bosses, you're welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Canva to create ebooks. Um, this over here is an ebook. It was more like a handout I created for a webinar I had a long time ago. Um, and I've had it, um, people really, really enjoyed it. And, um, it really showed me the power of creating handouts, creating ebooks within Canva. Um, of course, I've gone on and created other, um, ebooks within Canva, but today I just wanted to show you how to even create something as simple as this, both for free and for something that you want to sell. Now you have to be careful if you want to sell anything that you make in Canva because um, they do have terms and conditions of the free elements that you have access to within Canva. So you want to make sure that you read their terms and conditions and understand those and make sure you're not violating them because I don't want you to create something amazing only for you to get called out by Canva and have to pull down that product um, and be hit or be hit by legal fees and legal letters like you don't you definitely do not want that and so make sure that you understand um, the terms and conditions when it comes to using free elements now because I had created this for the free um, that didn't matter but if you're going to be selling something that you create in Canva it's important that you know you own the elements and that's why you can have the paid version version of Canva and make sure that these are elements you've paid for. So just make sure that you're not treading murky waters there if you want to sell something um, on your, web, your website, in your business that you create on Canva, okay? All right, great. So now that we, we know that, let's go ahead and create our ebook, all right? So in order to create our ebook, you want to make sure that you're choosing the right size. I'm going to go all the way up here have a lot of designs um, and basically you can design anything canva also has um, templates that you can choose and so you know basically can choose anything if you want to choose um, if you want it to be like a legal letter style or like a regular paper printer paper style you would go with the US document you can also definitely go with custom dimensions and you can decide to make the width like six by nine which is usually we're going to go by inches. All right. So we're going to go by uh, six by nine. We had the wrong one selected. All right. And this is usually what a standard, most standard books look like. So let's create that design. And we have our first page. All right. So maybe you would want this to be the cover of your book. So if that's the case, then you would, um, you know, Canva knows that. And so usually they'll have like different designs for the cover right here. Personally, I like to create my own unique covers. And so um, you can definitely go into Canva. Canva has a program that allows you to like just get inspiration and you can look at other people's designs. But let's do something like I had created for this right here. OK. All right. So let's I'm going to go into elements right here. I'm going to choose this box. I'm going to bring it up here and then make that thinner. All right, and then I'm going to just drag it across. The beautiful thing with Canva is that you can duplicate things. And so just duplicate that, pull that down, and we have that the beginnings of a first page. And then we're going to go into our text right there. We're going to add something. You can definitely go with any of these um, beautiful looking designs right here. But I always like to, you know, get my own text. So I'm going to type something. I'm just going to call it how to write an ebook in Canva. And if you want it in all caps, you can definitely have that. We're going to center that somewhere over there. And then we're going to choose a different text. That's the beauty is that you have access to so many um, types of texts within Canva. So let's select and then let's look for, I usually like to use text that people can read. Um, I've come across people's blogs and even people's eBooks where they have it in italics and you definitely do not want to do that. Even though it looks cool and, and stylish, <laughs> it kind of looks also amateur and, um, 
personally like if it's difficult for me to read i'm not going to read it and then people are just not going to consume your content so you always want to make sure that you choose texts that um people can read especially if this is an ebook and people are going to be reading this on a computer or a mobile device okay so choose readable text all right so right now i've chose clear science bold that's you know nice and neat it's a little too big for me so i'm gonna go up here and then just click on a different size move it to the middle let us make this a pretty pink color because i love pink <laughs> All right, and then we can add some elements to this to just make it a little bit, to make it just pop a little bit. So since we have how to write an ebook in Canva, we can go into elements again and under elements, you can look for, let's say, um, ebook or book. And as you can see, there's several free elements here. There are also some paid elements that you'll find um, under Elements Pro, you can definitely, um, you know, pay for that, but you may find some paid elements here or elements that you only get with the paid version of Canva. If that's the case, then you want to sign up for the paid version, but definitely if you're using the free version, you can still get some amazing graphics to use. And so maybe we're going to choose this right here. This is cool right this lady right here writing I'm gonna set her in the middle and maybe we're going to stretch out this text a little bit so that it's a little bit okay there we go i like this better and as i said you can make this well this one you cannot make bold but um you could italicize i don't recommend that <laughs> unless you're writing in the text and there's a little section that you want to italicize but i don't recommend that your whole text should be italicized and then once you have that um it's you know pretty much you have your book cover now one of the things that you can do within canva that's really helpful is you can go here to the copy page function and just copy the same page right and then you just can delete the elements that are on this page and then put whatever it is you want to put in this new page and this is helpful because like i don't want to have to create these elements if let's say there's certain elements on the page that you had already created and you kind of want to duplicate that for all the other pages then i don't have to go back and create that i just cl click on the duplicate button and you know edit it a little bit and i'm i'm good uh, if i wanted to delete it because i made i realized i made a mistake i could just go there and delete it all right so now we're going to add some text to this page that we have so we're just going to put this in here and then you could just go ahead and write now since this is about as a 39 percent zoom i would try and go up to maybe 100 and see how it's going to look like if people actually had to read it and as you can see this 33 font is really big so you want to make sure that right here where it says zoom right you are choosing the right zoom so that you at least you zoom in to see how it looks like okay you can definitely go back to like 75 percent so that it it makes the screen a little bit, bit more workable but you want to do that as well so this is a little too big so let's go with a 16 that seems good all right all right so let's put that there and then we're going to just type something in all right so now that i have some text in here um i just put the text in here and then i went ahead and selected um selected everything because it was typing in the original text i had used which was the claire sans bold and i wanted it to be in regular so i just highlighted everything and selected the right text type once that is done i can add page numbers to my pages and so i can go just go ahead right here um, i'm gonna just pull that all the way down somewhere into the middle right here and it's nice because canva kind of gives you guidelines see right here it gives you like these frames so that it makes sure that you're in the middle and that i think that's so cool so i'm just going to put the number one in here um let's say we wanted to delete that 
we could just put the number one right there so that it, that will tell us that's our page one and basically you know you'd add on more text and this first page would be done you could add any of these elements right here like I said there are multiple elements that you can add um, you can look for shapes in here you can look for all types of lines in here so definitely that's something that you could do now we can add a new page right here and that new page is going to be different from this page so this is where if you want to keep you know that design that you made you would go ahead and duplicate this page again but this time what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna just delete all this text right here all right and then I'm gonna duplicate this page multiple times so that now we have a blank page for we have the same design of the blank page and then the page number right so you can do this from the very beginning even and then it just when you add your text in here you can go ahead and change that page number now once this is done so I'll just go ahead and delete these but that's what you would do so now that all that is done let's say that you finished writing your book you can now publish the book and so you can do that by either going here where it says publish and then download or you could go just to this download button all right over here I suggest you go with PDF standard because this is a smaller size sometimes um, if you download it as a PDF print it's gonna be as a big size and um, people might complain you may not be able to attach it to your emails or um, you know put it you know it, it may be difficult for people to download it because it's such a large file and I just think you know when it's a smaller file it's just better so you want to um, download it as a PDF standard and once you download it as a PDF standard you're going to have that on your desktop so let's do that and then we have the pages we're gonna download that now your PDF is ready it says it's ready right here we can open that and just view it and we have a beautiful ebook that is now all done all right now I would highly recommend that if you download this onto your desktop you also download this to some kind of cloud storage and so that could be Google Drive that could be Amazon storage that could be Dropbox and then once you upload it you usually with these tools you'll have a share function and so let's say you're creating this to give away in an as an email freebie you would get that share you, it will usually give you a URL or a web, you know like an address for a website and you can link that in the text of your emails versus trying to attach it because I've had this question before where people are like oh I want to give a freebie in my email list but I'm not sure how to attach the PDF that's how you attach the PDF you actually upload it to Google Drive to Dropbox to Amazon storage they will give you a share button or you can actually choose a, the share function there and then you will use that link that shareable link within your emails to your email list so that anybody that signs up for your list gets that freebie I hope that makes sense or alternatively if you're going to sell this you can upload you can upload it to somewhere like Gumroad all right so I hope this video was helpful if it was helpful give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment below to let me know if you have any other questions about creating ebooks within Canva